Welcome to Revelation Church Online. We pray you'll be blessed and encouraged by today's message. Feel free to hit the red subscribe button and bell icon in the lower right hand side of your screen to get the latest videos as soon as they're released. Now here's today's word. But now bring me a musician. What it has to do with what you share with us? We're going to study that. The book of uh, 2 Kings chapter 3, verse 10. Then Jehoram, the king of Israel, I put in parentheses so because we're not a people. When you read that, you don't understand what it means. Alas, for the Lord has called these three kings, the king of Israel, the king of Judah, and the king of Adam, to give them into the hands of Moab. Moab was an enemy of Israel. So those three kings, they, some of them are evil. They don't even obey God. But this is what's going on. God has called those three kings to give them into the hand of Moab. This is a condition. It's almost the church is being given to the enemy. But Jehoshaphat, king of Judah, so this is the king of Judah, said, Is there no prophet of the Lord here? Then we may inquire of the Lord by him. Because at that time, the Lord was speaking through the prophets. Today, he was speak, he's speaking through a son. Back then, he was speaking through prophets. But today, he speaks through, what's the name of the son? Jesus Christ. And then, if he's speaking to the son, he's speaking also through the sons. Of God. Amen. That's the reason why we have the gift of prophecy. But at that time, you need to, to, to go and talk to a prophet. And one of the king of Israel's servants answered and said, Elisha, the son of Shaphat, is here, who used to pour out, no, I'm sorry, to pour water on the hands of Elijah. So he was meaning he was serving him, he was an assistant of Elijah. Joseph had said, the word of the Lord is with him. I love that. I love that. The word of the Lord is with him. So when you need something, you have a disease, you, have a, you need to inquire about what God is going to do, you have one solution to, give, to go to the prophet. Because the word is with him. Can you imagine? So the king of Israel and Joseph and the king of Adam, the three of them, remember that, the three, went down to him. Now Elisha said to the king of Israel, now how many believe God has revealed to the prophets before someone asked him? What do we have to do with you? Go to the prophet of your father and to the prophet of your mother. He's mad at them. And the king of Israel said to him, No, for the Lord has called the three kings together to give them into the hand of Moab. Now, they knew there was, they were in serious trouble. But look one more time. Elisha, look what he says. What, 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 what do we need to do, the two of us? Or actually, the, the four of us, because there are three of them coming to him. So, why don't you go consult the prophets of your father? Wow. Well, Elisha said, as the Lord of hosts lives before whom I stand, where is not that I regard the presence of Joseph at the king of Judah? I will not look at you, nor see you. If it was not for Joseph, they would have gone into the hands of Moab. It's as simple as that. And now the things turn. Things are turning. And this is my point, my teaching this morning. But now bring me a musician. Why? Why? Why do we need music? Why do we need praise? Why do we need to, uh, to praise the Lord with the instruments? Is the voice not enough? What bring a fruit? What bring a guitar? What bring a... A, um, 
all kasher. Look. Now, Elisha is a mighty man of God. He hears everything from God, but not that day. The miracles of God, of God, they all different. Sometimes you receive it this way, sometimes you receive it this way, sometimes this way, sometimes this way, sometimes this way, sometimes that way, sometimes this way. It's never the same. Never the same. You cannot replicate a miracle. But see, uh, I heard someone, he did it that way, I'm going to do the same. No, you're being disobedient by doing that. But that day, the word of the Lord, remember the, the Lord, the, uh, the word of God is with whom? With him. Now, he heard from God, you need music for that. And the Lord revealed that to me. And I, I, I read that 30 years, 30 years ago, maybe more, I don't know. Uh, bring me a musician. No word until he comes. And he came about. When the musician played, then the hand of the Lord came upon him. Him meaning Elisha. So, oh, are you telling me he's about to talk to the kings and because of Joseph, he's willing to do it. But he needs music to do it? The answer is yes. We will be right back with the conclusion of this message after this brief announcement. Here's how you can honor the Lord with your giving, as well as so into the ministry of Revelation Church. To give by text, text any amount to 84321. To give online, visit revelationchurchny.com give. You can mail checks or cash to 14 Bellmead Avenue in Smithtown, New York. Please make all checks out to Revelation Church. Yes, because in that case, he needs music to be there. Amen? I want you to pray more for your pastor. <laughs> pray more, because this is, I feel, this burden. And, and I'm like, oh, what are you going to do music? You, you know, you know, forget about it. No. God says, I, I've prepared a time, almost like Elisha. I want you to release this music there. Amen. Now, that could be, it could be that he's releasing upon uh, number one, Revelation Church, because we number one with them. And maybe he's going to release that anointing in order to complete the second phase, which happened to be healing, teaching, preaching, whatever he's going to do. So, and the Lord was revealed that to me. He said, when the musician played, then the hand of the Lord came upon him. That reminds me, and we're going to tell you about that, uh, when David was playing, Saul was, what was he, what happened to him? He was peaceful, calm, peaceful. The demons were cast out. Amen. When, I don't have it here, but you guys know, uh, 1 Samuel 16, uh, when the music was starting, Saul was refreshed and well. So I believe Revelation Church, uh, God will use Revelation Church, uh, but I believe the New York area, and that was my point I was trying to make, uh, needs a refreshing from God. Amen? Amen? Now, how is he going to do? Please don't ask me. I don't have the answer yet. But look at how powerful music is. I want you to understand that in order for you to pray. Then he said, thus says the Lord that he's preaching under the anointing of music. Make this valley for trenches. For thus says the Lord, you shall not see wind, nor shall you see rain, yet the valley shall be filled with water. How could it be? Don't you need rain? Don't you need a wind? You know, for us, let's say we didn't have any, any rain in Long Island. Don't you need rain? It's him saying, you know, you know those spots we have, you know, all those things? You know, inside I say, you know, we have those, uh, how do you call Sumps. Huh? Sumps. 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 It's like me saying, you know what? Uh, Tuesday morning, you guys are going to go, you're going to see all the sumps filled with water. 
You, but but you, it's going to be sunny. You'll be, something is wrong with your head. <laughs> that is the equivalent of that. That's the equivalent because they, they need water for the uh, huge army, huge army of three kings had. But, but they didn't have any water for the, for the horses. Okay, so that's why he says that. Uh, so you shall, uh, so then you shall drink both you and your cattle, cattle and your beasts. You know, meaning the horses and all that. But look one more time. You shall not see, you shall not see wind, nor shall you see rain. I mean, believe God is able to provide with nothing. Amen. Amen. I mean, God is able to provide to your business without you lifting one finger. Amen. I mean, you believe God is able to make money appear in your bank. Amen. I mean it. Without you doing anything. See? All the worries. Remember the beginning of the, the prophetic word? What was that word? Everything is? Yours. <laughs> I rest my case. Well, I rest his case. Okay. So everything, it, it came to me, I'm like, during the prophetic word that I received from God, I'm like, everything is yours. Why are you acting like that? Why are you living your life like that? <clears throat> and I finished with that. This is but a slight thing in the sight of God. He will also give the Moabites into your hands. So not only are they are going to have their needs provided, and the king who hated him, Hated them actually in that case. Uh, they will be turned. Everything will turn against him. Everything. All that because of the obedience of the prophet. Bring me a musician. He said, You know, oh, who cares about the musician? Oh, I forget about him. Uh, let, let me do it myself. And, and this is where, where it's, you're missing it. You're missing the, the, the point. When God says, Do with that music, you do with that music. When God says do good music, you better go, I'm talking to myself, uh, you better go and do good music. Amen. You see? Same works. Amen? Thank you for listening to this message. We encourage you to listen a few times in order to let what God revealed sink deeper into your heart and continue to renew your mind. For more information on Revelation Church and its services, please go to revelationchurchny.com.